the vlog camera. Say hey to Jada. <laughs> right, yeah. early mornings. Bless it. Yeah. Bless it. I'm headed to uh, Aspen Dental. So, of course, I did not go like pre grocery shopping. Oh, wait, copyright infringement. I didn't go grocery shopping ahead of time. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just be on smoothies and like applesauce and all that stuff. So, Trey is gonna go, I guess, when he gets back. But, who chill? This is ghetto. <laughs> the fact that I'm resorting to vlogging on my phone is right. trash. <laughs> trash. Barely, that shit was quick. 
How long? About 30 minutes. Yeah, because all my people was all the way out. Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, she said that? She said it was easy. She was supposed to give me my shit. Why do you want it? I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to look at them. But I forgot to say that. Maybe not as high. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> that was quick. That was quick. You just said, shoot, shoot, and yank them bitches out. <laughs> but all, all three of these grew in just fine. It was just this one that grew in just fine. <sighs> well, hey. I'm feeling good. I don't think I would have been able to drive though. Mm. This like drinking and driving. Like if I had to drive, I could have driven, but I feel like I'm drinking and driving. Yeah. Like you yeah, know. You but, sound like it. But, well, thank you for taking me, cause I, maybe I dated a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -mm. Well, this is day one. I'm gonna document the whole process. <laughs> so day one through by day five I should be okay. We'll see. Do you think your medicine is gonna be ready? Um, it checked me, let me see. So my sister had to go into a Target to get um, my meds or whatever, but so far so good. I feel dizzy, like, yeah, really dizzy. I do actually feel some pain, but I've been feeling pain in my, in just my jaw area, period. So, yeah, that's it. I can't believe it happened so quick. <laughs> as soon as I laid back, that was it. I wish that I was able to show you guys, but I couldn't. My claws are bleeding a lot. And so I'm gonna change them. But, this is what it's looking like. So far. So far, so bad. Hopefully, the next couple of days are easy. I honestly just feel high. Like, if you have ever smoked, drank at the same time, that's it. That's all. I just want to say, I'm grateful, I'm thankful. And my tooth extraction feels like, it's like wisdom teeth, right? So they grow in, you get wiser, then you lose them, and now it's like a rebirth. Like, <laughs> it's a rebirth. And y'all know I'm always so deep about everything, child. Over analytical, but right now, I just feel like <sighs> some great things are coming we are already on the way i am on the path i can see it so clearly i can see it so clearly i thought i was gonna be more goofy 
But anytime that I feel drug up, I feel like I'm able to like tap in a little bit more to like the spirituality, the spirituality <laughs> of things. And like, I'm just so grateful, so thankful for all the blessings, all the amazing people that I have around me to be able to heal the relationship with like my mom and like family and like y'all I'm just I'm so appreciative of y'all without YouTube like I'm just so happy like life has given me the things that I wanted I have literally watched my dreams come true like I could cry <laughs> <laughs> but like I'm so appreciative I'm so appreciative of all the blessings <laughs> because of where I started to like where I am now I only know that that's God that's it <sighs> a little heart outside uh, they're already bleeding like I gotta change them Damn. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm tired of taking too long, so we about to go get this prescription. I was told to get some tea bags. So, 
Happy to be back. Right now, I don't feel crazy. It definitely, I just don't want to talk. Is that just like damn it The bleeding has slowed down ever since I put in these um, tea bags. So it's not even that my face is swelling. It's just the the tea bags. Looks pretty good. Or is it swelling? I don't, I don't think so. My lips are finally starting to get feeling like this feels weird. The side of my face is a little swelling. But I feel good. Like, I mean, overall, I'm hungry. I've been dreaming about food and I need to stop talking so that the blood can clot appropriately. I'm missing Beyonce to sit in the bed with my pup. <laughs> Chipmunk style. I think my chin is swollen. <sighs> Back to bed we go. <laughs> Okay, so this is day two. It's not even that I can't talk. I just don't wanna talk. <laughs> That's how I feel. So today is, yeah, I haven't even brushed my teeth. I don't plan on it, honestly. I'm probably about to just take some more antibiotics, some ibuprofen. I don't need the hydrocodone just because that medicine is weird. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I'm about to just lay down. That's the plan. It feels so weird because I can literally feel that I don't have two teeth on this side. But we'll talk about that later. And also, as you guys can see, I don't have swelling. I, I literally have no swelling. When my face was looking a little puffy, it was just because I had the gauze in and the tea bags. And I actually found out that I was using it wrong. I was leaving the gauze in for like at least an hour or two at a time when I needed to just put it in, apply pressure, once the bleeding stopped, take it out and kind of, you know, leave your mouth open a little bit because the air, like I literally, my mouth gets so wet that anytime I think the blood clots were forming, um, just because my mouth was so wet, it was, they kept coming out. That's why my mouth kept bleeding. So I did some research on YouTube yesterday and that's what I found out. And then I've been using the tea bags um, to also help stop with the bleeding, which that helped a lot more. But I went through like almost the whole box and it was a good bit in here. And my stomach hurts so bad. I don't know if it's hunger, dehydration, what, but I'm sure it's all of that. So I'm about to be on some water. I got some soup and uh, applesauce. And that'll pretty much be it for today. Cut my glasses. <sighs> Y'all, it's really not that bad. I'm just being dramatic. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. That's it, that's all. For those of you wondering how I've been sleeping, originally I was laid down like pretty flat. Um, and then I did my research and saw that I needed to be elevated. So now you can hear the like vacuum robot. But anyway, yeah, so I have my little airport pillow and just gone. Go. And it actually kind of feels good on my cheek, the pressure. <laughs> I'm outside, y'all. My mouth still hurts, but I'm outside. Kind of 
copyright infringement. Can't talk for long. <laughs> doing my vlog what the vloggers they be getting a lot of views so i'm like i need to start doing my weekly vlogs but again so people want to be in, they want to be in my business okay it's watery i'm dead but hey it's like i can't let it go to that side or that side i just gotta like Eat it. That's how I was doing the applesauce, like just go straight back. Girl, I can't wait to bite into a chicken wing. <laughs> oh. In case you guys are wondering, what did I do during this time? Uh, literally just answering, not even answering, deleting emails. Y'all, I am starving, okay? I got these like little mini crackers because I'm going to soak it in my... Um, in my soup so let me get it out the microwave so i've been over here binge watching youtube videos and <laughs> cleaning out my email how in the world does yahoo email get to like 50,000 unread emails that's ridiculous so the soup i got from poppies i don't know if you guys know where that is but this is what it looks like nothing crazy it's like a chicken noodle potato yeah a little situation just soft stuff um from poppies they have some really really good like cuban food but i'm y'all i need some some type of bread even if i could just like ugh, sit it in my mouth for a second remember i actually had the mini ones but oh they look like little cheeses <laughs> all right i'm gonna try this out the salty i like dip it in i'm scared to like really crunch it but just to have some type of flavor like ugh I'm not even chewing. I'm literally just taking it straight to the back. Like, <laughs> throwing it back. Let me get some water. I feel like a lot of times people will try to like scare you. I mean, just when we talk about certain things, like you look it up on the internet, just as like, if you have a headache or are experiencing like stomach issues and you ask Google, Google's gonna tell you like you got cancer. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> So I'm learning to just take everything with a grain of salt, literally. Oh, that's so good. And I'm trying my best not to let it go on like either sides of my mouth, just. Straight down. y'all i just love i guess it's gluten <laughs> i love bread products like i cannot and the potato is definitely gonna help i'm like using the my tongue and the top of <laughs> the rhythm of my mouth to like smash the potato but <sighs> i'm just happy that it's over I want to show y'all, but I don't want to be gross. I already kind of showed too much with the blood and all that yesterday, but so far so good. I'm happy. I feel like I'm healing quickly. And there is still some like pain here. I can't lie. But I took a half of the hydrocortisone. 
hydrocortisone hydrocodone i don't know how people get addicted to pills y'all yesterday literally middle of the night i woke up i'm like okay i'm starting to feel the the pain it just felt like all of this was just like oh it's not even any of my other teeth it's literally this section so i'm just like what the i went in put the tea bag in after i finally like researched in the middle of the night how to get the bleeding to stop put it in there y'all i started crying almost immediately and i was trying to figure out am i crying because of the pain or am i just cr crying because damn like what the f you know one of those situations like ugh, why do i have to be going through this like that's how i felt when i got my bbl <laughs> literally i was like this is the dumbest thing i could have ever done but now i'm cool so give me like two more days i'm quite sure i'll be where i need to be i actually need to like get some editing done so right now i am binge watching just youtube videos like that's literally it i don't have anything else to really do except for edit um videos and like content and all that stuff but y'all you know, me and the chicken noodle soup got a date <laughs> i got a date with chicken noodle soup and usually I hate chicken noodle soup. So I was nervous about it because when I used to eat it growing up, it would make me so nauseous. Just like the thought of it, like, oh, you're sick, eat chicken noodle soup. And it has such a specific flavor that it was just like, mm-mm. But today I'm good. morning day four is this day four no this is day three i'm finally gonna attempt to brush my teeth i don't have any swelling i do have a little bit of like uh, just tension right here i don't really know what to call it like before i got my wisdom teeth taken out i was already experiencing a little bit of pain in the jaw like or in my gums like right here just felt like a tightening that's what i still feel right now um the hydrocodone i ended up taking it last night like a half of a half or not a half a half. I just broke the pill in half. But um, it makes me feel crazy. Like, I just I hate it. But I really, really needed to take it just because the Tylenol wasn't doing enough and the tightness just was not stopping. So, say all that's to say. Today, I'm going to go ahead and, of course, finish up the medication. Not finish it up, but continue to take it Um, for, what is it? Uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. I'm gonna continue to take the antibiotics and then of course attempt to brush my teeth because y'all, okay. Thank God we don't have smell of vision, okay? And um, the bleeding has stopped, so that's good. I got some more soup. So I'm gonna do the soup and crackers and applesauce again. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I have my electric toothbrush. And we have the toothpaste. Some crest. I probably should have used like a sensitive okay. I don't think I have my sensitive one. This one is Advanced Pro. This is not sponsored, okay? Y'all, my breath just stinks. Like, ew. I did not brush my teeth. Like, y'all, this is embarrassing. But anyway. <laughs> so you're supposed to do it very gentle. I have like a extra clean or extra i guess it's, i don't know it's different settings this one's like a wave this one's diamond it goes really really fast this one's like light as a feather and this one's supposed to be like pristine i'm gonna do the setting for like light as a feather wait wait y'all my toothbrush is dead i'm crying this is probably perfect because <laughs> i probably need to switch to a manual toothbrush anyway all right, this is what I'm doing. This toothbrush is actually from a uh, 10 Dental. This probably would have been too rough anyway, to be honest, and I need to charge it. Leave it to me. All right. Here we go. I'm scared to go in the back. It looks like I'm 
I'm doing this really like hard, but it's just gonna move fast. Okay, not too bad. I have to brush my gums. It was just, ugh. Okay. That actually was not that bad. I could not have done that. Um, definitely not Friday when I got the surgery and for sure not yesterday. So that wasn't too, too bad. Um, I am going to go ahead and just floss a little bit just because, oh, here's the sensitive from Tendental. I'll use that one. And then my little flosser. This is like so explicit. Sorry, y'all gotta watch this. <laughs> Perfect timing because my Uber Eats salad just got here, so I can finally eat some breakfast slash lunch, y'all. It's 1:44 in the afternoon. I literally sat in the out in the shower for like an hour and a half. <laughs> but um, yeah. So all good. About to get ready to go eat and um yeah take some meds oh, let's go we're on the tylenol and amoxicillin amoxicillin <laughs> i don't know if i should actually take the medicine first I, i've been doing it kind of out of order so yeah. crackers same born thing It smells so good. It smells so good. It gave me bread that I cannot really eat. I'm gonna like soak it in there. But soup. It's pretty hot too. Dakota, I'm sorry, you can't have no food. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take one. some water and then I'm gonna do a Tylenol this is just a Tylenol what's, what's this 500 milligrams so I'm just gonna do one just because I got a little bit of tightness I'm actually running out All good. Okay. So my little crackers. I'm actually enjoying the cracker hole thing. <laughs> and I'm literally just like throwing them in there. Let me show you. Just like that. And just like. Cause it has like chicken, potatoes, a little noodle in there. So yeah. And I honestly did not need this big of spoon. Oh, it's so hot. I'm gonna use the one they gave me. It literally just feels like this tooth is like protruding and like I have nothing there, which is true. <laughs> Some of y'all might be thinking I'm being dramatic. Like I'm pretty sure I could eat way more like options than what I've chose to eat. But um, hey, you do you, I'm gonna do me. But today should be pretty good. I'm actually gonna edit some videos and I was thinking about filming, probably not gonna get to that. I'm just gonna edit and pretty much like plan content for the week. That's pretty much it. I'm just so thankful and grateful that I do not have a lot of swelling. Actually, I can see some swelling right here. Now that I say that. 
So I'm gonna put like the ice pack on it when I get done. And that could have literally just came from brushing my teeth. I don't know if y'all saw it, but right here, I can kind of feel it a little bit. So I'm definitely gonna brush again after this just because I keep making mistakes. I'm like eating kind of far back, but these are fine. It's really just this. Ugh. Anyway, I'll see y'all um, later. Today is a very boring day, for sure. I'm in the house. <laughs> Good morning to you. Y'all, this is day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Day one, are we counting Friday? Yeah, day one, two, three, four. Y'all, just we are, okay? My breath. Okay, I haven't even felt comfortable kissing my man because I just like, yeah, no. So I need to hydrate, hydrate today. Um, everything is definitely clearing up. It just feels weird not to have those teeth back there because I have a pretty wide tongue. So like typically, <laughs> typically I can feel my teeth at all times and it's like comforting. So like, it's just strange, but Things are getting better. I'm able to sleep a little bit better through the night. I did wake up this morning and start to feel just like a throbbing kind of here, but I can like tell that it's getting better. So same thing. Y'all know how to brush off teeth, okay? This is not a tutorial. But um, this breath, like mouthwash is needed, okay? This ain't no joke. I'm just so grateful that my other teeth grew in straight. Because really the only pain that I'm having is here and I'm just so upset that I can't eat. Today's one of my good friends' birthday. Happy birthday, girl. And I didn't even get to like go to brunch with her yesterday. Can't really spend no time because I cannot eat. And then I don't feel comfortable talking a lot <laughs> because it just starts to hurt after a while. Like, have you ever bit the side of your, um, y'all gonna be mad at me for leaving this water on, I know, but it's just so soothing. Something about the sound of water. But anyway, yeah, have you ever bit the side of your cheek, like, and then once you bite it, it swells, and then you keep biting it, so it just keeps swelling, and then it's like, okay, let me just take this sign from God to just shut up, okay? Because clearly, that's what you're trying to say. And I know y'all are tired of seeing me with this little head wrap, but I got my cornrows in. Y'all, no videos are getting done, okay? At this point, the only thing that I'll be continuing to do is edit, um... So yeah, that's today. I'm about to take the dog out, do a little walk around the neighborhood, and then that's it. I have Pilates on Thursday. Um, since this is day four, I'm gonna stop recording day, until like day five. So tomorrow will be my last day talking about these wisdom teeth because it's pretty much repetitive at this point. It's literally just me taking the meds, staying on top of uh, the antibiotics. I have to stop the hydrocodone, um, and yeah. I've just been relying on Tylenol and the ibuprofen. So I have a five, is it called milligrams? Anyway, I have the 500 Tylenol and then the 800 ibuprofen. Can't really see the difference to be honest. Whatever I pick up is what I use and it's been working just fine. So <laughs> I love that. And uh, yeah, that's it, that's all. I actually need to wash my face. So I'm about to do a full skincare routine. If you guys have not already seen it, I don't know if the video is gonna be up first, but Check it out, I have one already posted on my channel. In case you guys are interested in that, I won't be wearing my contacts today. Um, yeah, so I'm keeping these vlogs kind of short because if you are here to really know like, girl, what is going on? The only thing that I have noticed for sure, for sure, is that the tooth beside the extraction teeth, the two that were there, um, it's just super sensitive like super super sensitive my breath stings i can't really eat a lot i'm trying to like use my tongue and the root of my mouth to smash things when i do want to eat like a potato or something um other than that i can't really there's nothing like major there's something about dry sockets that i've seen but i don't think i'm suffering from that um, I don't ever think you're actually suffering, but I don't think I'm experiencing that. Um, I do have the blood clots here that have formed for me wearing the gauze, which is a great thing, of course, because it's going to assist with the healing and everything. So I'm going to stay away from my Starbucks as much as I want, some coffee. going to stay away from it, just water, Gatorade, applesauce, soup from poppies, that's been my diet. Um, I did have a tropical smoothie, uh, oxy berry, blueberry, banana, and mango smoothie yesterday. That was my dinner. That's it. 
that's what I'm going to continue to eat for the next two days. Um, I'm going to actually incorporate eggs into my diet maybe tomorrow or the day after. But yeah, so we're trying to get skinny. Fine. Fine. Let me get on scale. Let me see how much I weigh. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so annoyed. Literally 140. Okay. The same weight that I was before the surgery. So obviously I need to take a a dump or something I don't know but anyway sorry y'all I'm so gross and inappropriate but yeah that's it that's all um yeah see y'all the next one <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I caved in. Huh. I'm gonna try to eat some, it's like a breakfast bowl. It's like avocado, eggs, vegetables, tater tots, the whole nine. But I'm only gonna pick out the avocado and the egg because, yeah. Y'all, I'm hungry, I just need some protein. I could have eaten some eggs here, but um, I didn't feel like it, so. Hmm. not too shabby and yes I have on the same outfit Ugh. so absolutely can't eat on this side but I can do the other side okay so I'm gonna make sure that I really like swig 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 my mouth and also that was good. I needed that. But now my mouth is a little sore. Good morning. This is day five. I have literally taken um, the ibuprofen before bed every night just because, baby, who are we kidding? I'm starting to get this like throbbing sensation in my gums, which is super uncomfortable. Y'all don't mind my cornrows. I'm actually, <laughs> I got to do a video today, a wig install, and I don't feel like re, like redoing my braids. So I'm just putting some edge control on here. This video is not even about that, but. And so I was kind of caught in between trying to figure out if I had a dry socket or if I'm just experiencing normal, like healthy tissue kind of fill in. Cause I noticed like it was a blood clot and then there's like this white kind of cloudy substance on top of it. So it was starting to like freak me out. I don't want to show y'all cause the thing is I looked on Google and nobody seems to want to show it. So <laughs> maybe I should be the one, but anyway, yeah, it was kind of freaking me out. So I was going to call the dentist this morning to see, I called them yesterday to see if I needed to be flushing out the areas. But y'all, I just sound like an overly concerned patient, honestly. <laughs> they said I should not be concerned about that until at least about a week. Just to make sure that everything has really like settled in properly. Um, so yeah, I think I'm okay. I mean, I am noticing pain literally in this spot. Not even in the wisdom spot area. It's literally the tooth that was beside it that had become impacted, got the deep cavity, and was extracted. So... That's where most of my pain is. Honestly, I don't even feel the other areas. Thank God. I don't know how I would have been able to maneuver that. But anyway. So yeah, I'm about to take the dog out for a quick walk. I need to go to CVS to get some more, just like rabbit release of Tylenol, like the 500 milligram. I still have a good bit of the 800 milligram, but I'm only supposed to take that every eight hours. I'm guessing I'm only supposed to take regular Tylenol every eight hours also. But I haven't done it. So I've been taking it every like four hours, honestly. And this is day five. So I'm kind of shocked, especially because I didn't get any swelling. I'm finding that most of my pain right now is coming from not even my wisdom teeth, but the one that did have that cavity. So clearly... Oh, that's causing me the most trouble. I'm just, I don't know. I'm gonna put on my little wig cap. I'll come back, do my makeup. Get this video done. 
Okay. All right, I've already brushed my teeth today. I figure I didn't need to show y'all how to brush our teeth again for day three <laughs> or day two. I don't know how many days it's been. I know that today is day five, but you get what I mean. I ended up doing like a salt water rinse, which I'm assuming helps, but my boyfriend's like, do a peroxide rinse. I'm like, no, peroxide just scares me. I don't know. All right, so I got that on. I can't go outside like this, so y'all know I'm about to put this back on, which looks even more hilarious. Like, who am I kidding? Looking like the wintertime and the summertime. Oh my God. It wouldn't be me if that's not what I did. So I actually have a ton of plant care to do. Um, I have been neglecting them. Well, I don't want to say neglecting. I have let them do their thing <laughs> in between time. But my moss poles are for sure drying out. So it's time for me to get ready to get that together. I don't know if y'all can see here. We got the Veracossum. We got... What's this one? I can never remember off the top of my head. I do see a little gnat flying over there. We got, oh, this one's turning a color. Okay, we about to lose a leaf. Yeah, we're about to lose that leaf because this is incredibly dried out. So I'm actually going to do this now. I was going to put it off, but clearly I have put it off long enough. Yeah, these are like dry, dry. All right, so plants on moss poles, giving the vibes, doing what they need to do. This also died. I don't know if you guys saw my reel um, where I went to Plant House, Atlanta and Decatur or whatever and created this with my friends. This was a succulent and this also was a succulent. Clearly died. I can soak this one in water and actually save it. Um, so I'm going to do that now also. Or actually, no, I'm just taking her to the bathroom and wet it a little bit. This is starting into... <laughs> Of what I did during my tooth extraction. All right, so I have my little water pill. I'm just gonna fill it up. Typically, I'll use like a uh, distilled water, but in this case, I don't really think there's a need. My water's kind of hot. I'm gonna water these hot water. Let me do this one first. All right, so that. some fertilizer in this jug right here I've labeled it I already have a few drops in there All right. so it's pretty diluted at this point and now that everything is wet it shouldn't have a problem like you know touching the roots and doing what it needs to do all right good and fertilized these leaves are getting so big too look at that mm -hmm. All right, so you can't see, but behind the camera, I have like a towel, a thick dry towel, just so that it can finish like draining on top of that. This one's super dry, but it has a new leaf coming in right here, so that's good. It's taking a minute for this one to really soak down. All right, I think we are pretty moist now. Y'all can kind of see. We finally got some roots growing out the, in the back, so that's good. And my favorite. We got the philodendron at Vericosum. Oh, I'm making a mess. This is my favorite, literally my favorite philodendron. It was like the first one that I got introduced to and I thought that it was just so velvety and beautiful. I got so many babies popping out at the bottom down here. I'm just so excited. I think it's a little too early to fertilize. I don't want to kill them. So I'm not really going to fertilize this one just yet. All right, now for this one, I have this one inside of uh, Bark and Perlite, but as you can see, due to my neglect, it has pretty much rotted out, so not even rotted. I think it's just, it's not getting enough oxygen. I don't know what's going on with this one, honestly, but it doesn't matter because we have these growing upward, so eventually it'll fill in that gap. So I'm just going to cut off this. Oh yeah, that was on the way out anyway. All right, that's it for plant care. <laughs> I'm gonna let these pretty much just dry out. And once it's no longer like leaking, I'll put them back where they 
vlog i have a couple others to do but y'all this is about a tooth extraction like this is just what i'm doing in between <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna wait <laughs> person that damn near washes the dishes clean <laughs> before putting them in the dishwasher let me know One thing I can't stand is a dirty house. I don't know how people do it. Like, I'm damn near cleaning every day. <laughs> Y'all, I am literally starving. So I'm gonna just go ahead and break down and make me some eggs because I don't think I can do this. And y'all, I'm one of those people that be in the house in the dark. If it's not natural light coming in, I don't really care for it. But for y'all, I'm gonna cut on all that. Cut on the lights, okay. I feel like everybody should know how to scramble eggs at this point. So y'all see. I get the Nellies. Just because they're brown. I don't actually know if it's... Y'all know. We don't know where nothing really coming from. If it was modified or not. How would we know these days? But I do need two eggs just to satisfy the craving, y'all. I've been taking headache medicine. And I know my cycle is coming because it's not exactly working. <laughs> and whenever it gets to that point, it's usually because she's on the way. So definitely join this with applesauce. Applesauce some eggs. I mean, who are we kidding? Now and then I'm a scramble girl. Scrambling the egg. We already know who in the kitchen. This is what we used to feed Dakota when she was a pup to get her to eat. So you already know where she gonna be at. I don't like them to be too like chopped up. You ever see they're just like overbeat? <laughs> Be able to get down some bananas as well so I know that's probably disgusting that I'm putting it on one plate but I'm gonna give the other half to Dakota
to waste. Let me get the rest to her. Do you like it? Eat your food. <laughs> she looking for eggs. That's what she smells. She like that is not an egg. <laughs> now she wants to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> All everything yellow. They say you shouldn't have too much yellow food in your diet. Like, start off with this applesauce. And yes, I eat applesauce with the fork. I do this even if my mouth wasn't hurting. I put too much damn salt in these eggs. Y'all, I literally got an egg stuck in the back on both sides. I'm annoyed. Now the banana, <clears throat> it's not as hard obviously to just mush, mush down. I'm like smashing it before I even eat it. Mush mouth. Like this is ridiculous. Like I don't wish this on my worst enemy. For real, like bro, you should at least be able to eat. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, I'm telling you that protein like is helping probably the most full I have felt since the surgery all right so before I brush my teeth I'm gonna do just the salt water rinse I got a cup some pretty warm water not too hot to where my mouth starts bleeding again and salt and I'm just gonna do a salt water rinse so so cute <laughs> one of my old co-workers she likes to make like arts and crafts type of stuff so she made me this cute little drinking cup comes with like a little um brown top like a wooden top with a straw <laughs> i'm not trying to be able to see i know this is nasty so let me just preface it by say by saying i'm about to show you my mouth but i have a little flashlight to do it You can see where my gum is really like, like it was kind of cut a little bit, sensitive, a little swollen, literally in that area. And then back there, it's just like an open canal. So I don't know how big that tooth was. I know it was growing in crooked. So it's very possible that instead of them going in and try to pull it out like this way, they started from the back forward instead of trying to pull the, the molar that was in front of it out you see what i'm saying so i'm thinking they may have just like cut a little bit opened it up yanked it out and then went for that one because i'm like why is it that much space it was only two teeth but like i said it was growing in crooked so it must have been in my cheek that way um but anyway yeah so i do see a little bit of like this white kind of cloudy tissue which is what made me think was a dry socket but they said no a dry socket actually looks empty and it has um basically either it'll be like pus coming out or just like it'll really 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 look infected but this morning obviously i looked on google that looked infected to me okay but nevertheless y'all it's blood clots still back there it's moist all that and i'm seeing the white little tissue start to form to heal um in between my gums so thank god and the same thing on the other side i'm gonna show y'all just because who else gonna do it i have not found this on the internet so let me show you And obviously it would be really hard for me to show you the top, but this one, I can see that it's starting to close. So essentially they will all do that. So I'm gonna give it about another week. I mean, they said between seven to 10, din <laughs> so they said between seven to 10 days, um, your gum should at least be closed. Now fully healed, they may still be a little tender. I'm not really sure, depending on what your situation is specifically. But for me, I have faith that at least by Friday, I should see even more progress than this. If you guys would like an update, I can definitely show you. Um, I'm gonna get this video posted pretty soon just because I'm sure it can help a bunch of other people. Um, and so yeah, that is pretty much my wisdom teeth <laughs> experience. Um, I have literally been wearing this thing on my head for a couple of days. 
and um yeah I recycled an outfit that's how just like out of it I didn't feel like doing anything uh, what else I did end up selling a wig so that was good making money even though I'm not you know still managed to get my videos posted managed to do laundry clean up today obviously I'm up active I've still been taking Dakota out for her walks while Trey's been working um yeah so really my roughest day would have been not even really day one because I didn't feel a lot but I was just down and out of it um and then I had nightmares the next night from taking the hydrocodone so I don't suggest it and then um yeah I would probably say the fourth the third and the fourth day may have been the roughest just in terms of like all of this really waking up and me really feeling what's going on and it's not my other wisdom teeth that were bothering me those areas feel fine my face is still not even swollen so the most sensitive area was here which again is where i had the wisdom teeth growing in this way definitely popped out of the gum thank god so they didn't have to split open my gum but it was growing in this way and i had another molar that was going straight up so by the time it impacted it it created like a uh, a crack in it and then of course a cavity formed really deep down I didn't even make an effort to say like oh can you save it put a crown on it because my mom had an issue with crowns and she ended up needing to get the whole tooth removed so let's just alleviate all that I have more than enough teeth in my mouth this tooth right here had been starting to protrude since maybe about 2013 2014 um and it was like a slow and steady thing and so the tooth here now y'all can see it sits a little bit back which is perfect because when I go and get braces hopefully fingers crossed at 10 dental behind my teeth or Aspen I'm gonna see if they can do it too since that's where I originally went um but yeah behind my teeth hopefully fingers crossed I can just get it on the bottom row and then they will pull that tooth up and now I'll have plenty of space for this other molar to sit so it won't be as like weird not having <laughs> all that space back there. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. If you guys would like to follow me on that journey, definitely make sure that you are subscribed, turn on your post notifications, and y'all know we're gonna get right back into the hair, makeup, beauty content, lifestyle content. We got a couple trips coming up, so I'm excited to be back vlogging. I love you guys so much. Stay pretty. And of course, I will see you in my next video. Bye, babies.